The Coronet name is synonymous with Australian caravanning. Its Carrington pop top is a tandem axle beauty made for blacktop adventures. With its ATM of 2200 kilos, it sits nicely behind many family wagons or mid sized four wheel drives. Inside, the Carrington's traditional aesthetic is undeniably elegant. Overall, the Carrington's interior proves that even in a pop top, long considered the little ease of the RV world, you don't have to do without. In fact, with a front bedroom, offside dinette, a kitchen that's split along the near side and rear, and bathroom tucked neatly into a corner, the Carrington's layout is entirely livable. There aren't many compromises here. There's very little that's out of place in the Carrington's kitchen, no unsightly gaps betraying a slapdash approach to construction. Likewise the dinette, it's a comfortable space for two with high density cushioning providing decent leg and back support. Let's take a look. There's a touch of old world charm about the Carrington, its traditional lines accentuated by time-honoured white aluminium cladding. But alloy rims and fiberglass flares at the wheels plant it firmly in the 21st century. The bitumen bound Carrington is particularly pleasing under tow, well balanced and with just the right amount of weight on the nose. The tandem axle load sharing suspension, 4 inch A frame and 4 inch main chassis members are entirely sufficient for the black top touring for which this pop top is designed. Here's what our judges had to say. This might seem trivial but the Coronet Carrington has this lovely little bench above the bed head here. So for people like me who wear glasses and who like reading books, there's nothing better than being able to just pop your glasses on the shelf and stew straight off to sleep. This might sound a minor feature, but one of the good little things in this van is this shelf right here. It's not only good for your keys and torches to be handed by the door, but it also has a little shelf for your iPod, which plugs into the adjacent radio. Many vans don't have that feature, and you can play your music straight away. I quite like the interior of the Carrington. It's traditional, but there's nothing wrong with that. The layout flows, you've got the bed up the front, the dinette to one side, and this split kitchen area, which works quite well because it gives you a heap of bench space. And let's not forget, all of this in a compact space that also includes a bathroom. You can never have enough storage in a caravan, and the Carrington has plenty all through the interior. And also, it has these really nice strong strut hinges. One of the problems with the pop top he says it's a bit too heavy to have a roof mounted air conditioner. This little Air Command Heron unit solves that problem. The compressor and all the weight is just here and the outlet is fitted to a cabinet inside the caravan. Because the Carrington has an ATM of 2200 kilos, you don't need to tow it with a large four wheel drive like what we've been using. In fact, the family Falcon wagon should do the job nicely. The Coronet Carrington is a van built very much in the traditional style. Moranti framed, aluminium clad, A-frame, two gas bottles. This is a style that's been around for a long time and the reason it's been around for a long time is it works. And a big plus of that is of course the front boot. It's just huge. It's not a big van but they've got a lot of big storage space up here. Very easily accessible as well. The Carrington is very easy to tow and of course part of the reason for that is is the basic design of a pop top. 
it's got a, a, a lower profile which allows it to be less susceptible to crosswinds, uh, it makes it a little bit more fuel efficient, the vehicle towing it, and also it allows you to park under carports or in garages much more easily. Given this pop top's price point, you'd expect a little glamour, and in this respect the Carrington doesn't disappoint. It packs in plenty of features without impeding on living space. Fit, finish and attention to detail are the high points of Coronet vans, and this reputation was done no harm by this Carrington.